Next one introduce you central limit theorem. This is one of the most important theorem in probability and statistics theory. Okay. Now let's what it say. Given x1 up to xn is a sequence of independently and identically distributed random variable. A sequence of independent and identically distributed random variable can be replaced by a sequence of IID random variable. Take the first letter, IID, okay? Random variable. Or you can replace this by is a simple random sample. Okay, this is a term you are more familiar with. Okay, this you can replace by a simple random sample. Okay, is that okay? But this is a simple random sample with replacement. Okay, with common mean ex1 equal to mean and common variance variance x1 equal to sigma squared. And when sample size is large, we have sample total, which is x1 plus x2 plus up to xn, will follow a plus median norm with mean of the sample total and variance of the sample total. Another version for central limit zero is expressed by sample mean. Sample mean is sample total divided by n. In our notation, use x bar. x bar, when sample size is large enough, okay, follow a plus maybe what? Normal. With mean of the sample mean and variance of the sample mean. This is a famous central limit zero. Central limit zero have several different what? Versions. But for our level, this one is the best. Okay? Now, next, look at here. When sample size is large, listen. Central limit zero doesn't work for what? Small sample. It only work out for large sample. Is that okay? Now, different textbook has different criteria. Some books say A greater equal to 25 is big enough. Some books say it need to be greater equal to 30. Some books say you need to be what? At least 40. For our course, we use A greater equal to 25. Is that okay? So let me write this down here, okay? How large is considered large? In our version, we say n greater than 25. Okay? Um, let's stop here. Okay?